Okay, so we're working on a 2013 Kia Rio uh, sedan, and it has the airbag warning light on and several codes in it for, uh, let's see what the codes are. Let's see, I'll try and pull this up here. P151100 buckle switch on the driver's side. Sorry for the glare here. Let's do this one. And B137800 side airbag front driver resistance too high. B174200 passenger side impact sensor front. This side airbag in the driver's seat comes back instantly as soon as I clear the code. What's bothering me here is in this uh, Varus Edge, we have codes, clear codes, system identification, system tests, and troubleshooter, but no data. So I can't view the status of the various inputs. Unfortunately, no data available. So, unfortunately, have to resort to my secondary scanner here, which is a MaxiSys. And I'm gonna go into service data. And there we go down here shows so right here you can see this driver's side airbag resistance failed so I I suspect there might be some broken wires but I'm gonna have to check the wiring under the seat but it's nice nice to see this data and why snap-on doesn't support that I don't know oh well can't have everything in one scan tool so the troubleshooting chart in Identifix for B137800 suggests to view the data parameters and it specifically suggests to look at driver side airbag resistance. It should be around 2.38 ohms and as I see here it says it's failed. So the next step then if you scroll down would be go to the wiring harness inspection procedure. So let's have a look briefly underneath the driver's seat and maybe we'll get lucky and find something here and turn the light on and here we're down underneath the driver's seat and look and lo and behold there is a airbag connector that has somehow managed to disconnect itself so I'm going to turn the key off I don't want to connect that with the key in the on position maybe it'd be best to disconnect the battery too so I'm going to disconnect the battery turn the key off disconnect the battery reconnect that and then see what happens So I've got that wire reconnected. It seems like the lock had come off for some reason. And there it is now at 2.27 ohms. And the airbag warning light is off. We're going to clear the codes here. Oops. Erase codes. Yes. Yes. read codes one more time no fault codes present now I can't explain why the other codes were there but we're gonna go for a road test and see if that has fixed the problem we'll have to take note of those other codes